Spring is in the air, and Randy's got some work to do. Get stoned. I mean, uh, gather stones. Roll the field. Apply that lime. Plant the seed. Spray the crops. This is episode 41 of Elk Mountain. Oh, good morning, people. It's a lovely day here, and look at this. We got a bunch of feed. I'm hoping ready to go. Look at that. Just dumping it right in. That's a lot more efficient, and thankfully it can actually go in this trailer. We were thinking we might have had to use a tipper, but yeah. Thankfully this one works out. Should be overall a lot quicker in the long run, which is awesome for us, because we got a lot of stuff to get done. We'll probably hop on over and feed our chickens once we've given our cows probably a loader. Prob probably we'll come back and fill up for another one. I don't see why not. With more cows, we're going to be going through probably two full mixers um, quite regularly, so it should be a lot easier, and we just got to keep this guy topped up. Looking forward to that. There we go. That's looking pretty good. There we go. Now, the fun part is going to be figuring out how best to turn out of here, because obviously we want to follow our little pathway there. So we'll see what way is the most efficient for us going forward. And our manure is definitely piling up so much so it's tipping over our haystacks. Kind of, kind of ridiculous. But it is what it is. I don't even know how we're going to be able to clean that part up efficiently. We might have to just fully move that thing over at some point. Who knows? I, kind of unfortunate, but the way she goes, not the end of the world. We have our field behind us as well, which probably we need to get stone picking. We'd like to get grass put in there as soon as we can, so we'll probably want to deal with that guy. But on the same note, we do have to make sure the fields that we already have planted are looked after as well. So we probably need to get some herbicide just get right uh, cut the corn in. there we go um, and uh, use some herbicide rather on uh, our fields our one field that has a little bit that we just planted there with our canola I don't know if we can get a good view of it maybe if we climb up here and uh, yeah you can see the the seven series way out there we did forget to put that away last night but uh, I mean hey we've been pretty busy so what can you do so we'll get some herbicide on there and I was looking on the computer this morning. It looks like there's a couple contracts up that people need some herbicide on their fields that are pretty close by. And we have a new tractor with some narrow tires to get it all done. So I think that might be a good opportunity to sneak in a little bit of extra cash. Because not that we're running low, but, I, you know, kind of. And we do have a bunch of debt to pay off still as well on our loan. So, you know, it, it never hurts to get a little bit more money. It's always exciting. Because who knows how we're going to be keeping up with all these new animals. I'd probably have some more. Oh, come on now. Yeah, this is... It's going to be tough if we do get a bigger trailer. Because obviously this we don't have the most area to turn around in here. But we made it fairly, fairly efficient. And I suppose we could just get some more gravel in here where all this grass died off. It probably would be good. Same with refilling our mixer wagon while we're talking. That would save some time. Looks like a little bit of snow ended up staying here from probably when they plowed off, just created a bit of a pile, so that's kind of cool. And our trees are growing too. Everything's happening. We've got a lot more chickens because they, I mean, they just reproduce quite quickly, so that's awesome. Slowly but surely as they get a bit older, the new ones, they'll start reproducing as well for us uh, and we'll have lots of chickens, lots of eggs. Our forest growing slowly but surely. It's actually quite quickly. It's looking good in here. We could probably afford to cut down some more bigger trees now that these ones are in the works and kind of flip-flop between the two forests if we do. I mean, we have everything to make another one, so... I guess, except maybe... Do we have a stump grinder? I don't remember. I think we might have leased one. Hopefully this guy's full. Awesome. So we get one more load put in there. And I do think we need to get some fertilizer as well on our big field because we only had the one layer of slurry go on there and we didn't fertilize it since. So we probably, now that they're just germinating and spring now, wouldn't hurt to get a little bit of liquid fertilizer on those guys as well just to 
make sure we get the most out of that field. I'm curious if this is going to take a full second mix. Because normally we've done one in a little bit, so that's pretty good. We might be able to hold off on putting straw in, as we don't really need too much more manure. But at the same time, we have the straw, so it doesn't hurt. And yeah, they didn't take a f quite a full one. But the nice thing now is we can just go get this topped up to make sure we have a full one ready to go and probably just park it right back in there. Or we could leave it where it is for now. I guess we'll try the approach from this direction. If we swing wide, it should be nice and easy for us to get lined up. And then from there, it's just making sure we can cut the angle back out. So we'll try our best. Let's see. Well, that's actually all we're going to get because we need more mineral feed. Let's see. It looks like we can cut that corner pretty well, actually, if we come from there. So that's awesome. I think that's kind of how I planned it out in my head. It looks like it works. So that's great. I don't think we'd be able to do it with a tractor that's any really bigger than this guy. But this guy, that's what the job is. It's doing it well. So we'll get this just lined up, I suppose. So we can put some more straw in there next time. But yeah, we are out of minerals uh, for our mixing station, so we actually can't be producing anymore right now, which is unfortunate as uh, we, well, we would like to get that done while we're doing some other stuff. That I don't even know why I unhooked that. We can probably leave it just right there for now. But yeah, we would like to get some mix going while we're doing stuff today, so I don't know if we'll order some from the storm. Maybe we rip down there and get the farmhand going on some other jobs. I think maybe just doing some fertilizing quick while we start doing some other jobs. And then there we can just try and focus on the herbicide. So we'll go pick up the 7 Series. Make sure that's put away. And uh, then I guess maybe we'll hop in the 350. Alright, yeah, our field's looking good over here. But yeah, um, weeds are growing pretty quickly as you can see. We'll just sco scoot around this way. And get this guy dropped off. He's starting to look fairly used. Just all the parts that kind of go into the ground. The paint's starting to wear off and stuff like that. But it's looking good. It's nice having stuff that's used. Well used. It's nice trying to see how many hours we can put on our equipment. I mean, really, that's the most cost-effective way of go going about things. But grass equipment, I do want to get some bigger stuff. Because, yeah, that tether is... Uh, Oh, it's not the best, and I would love a bigger windrower as well. Oh yeah, we can't quite pull through here at the moment. Maybe we can. I know we sneak around the pole sometimes with the sprayer. Can we get away with it? Oh, not yet. No, that's not happening. Maybe, though. Maybe? Have faith in yourself, Randall. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Drop that off. We'll probably put the 7 Series away because I don't think we're going to need it again today. Pull it right in here. And I guess it's parking spot for now. Just be off to the left here. Something like that. Wonderful. All right. Right, the Funkasaur. But this is the tractor we need. For other jobs. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, well, you know what? That's fine. I did want to use this guy for rock picking, but uh, we're probably going to have to send him off into the field. So, going to be kind of a pain in the butt, but we're just going to change the wheels really quick. Oh, come on now. Wonderful. And you know what? These narrow ones, they actually are really grown on me. I think they look pretty decent. We don't need the front weight right now, so we're just, well, front weight, the weight, it's on the back, Randy. What are you talking about, guy? We'll just drop it off there for now. I suppose it might not hurt throwing it on the front. Yeah, and I guess that means we got to use our big boy to do the rock picking, which, that's all right. At least it's not the 7 Series. It should be a little bit cheaper. We don't really need the rear wheels on, the twins, rather, to do rock picking. But, I mean, hey, it's not the worst. We'll pick this guy up, and we'll just swap it out uh, for some liquid herbicide. I think we do have a little bit left. And then 
we can get the herbicide put back in liquid fertilizer. Did I say liquid herbicide? I don't know. We're still waking up. Alright, we got those switched out. We'll head on over to the field and probably just get the farmhand to pop in there and we'll rip on over to the farm store, pick up uh, I don't even know how many bags of mineral feed, pallets rather, but uh, we'll get a fair bit because we don't want our production basically to run out because of that. If we run out because of hay or something else, I mean that's that's on us and that's one thing. We can try our best to you know, make sure we never run out of that kind of stuff. But mineral feed, I mean, if we gotta buy it, then let's just make sure we don't run out of that. Because we can control that, hopefully. Alright, I'm just gonna set the farmhand off. I'm gonna creep on in here. Without our narrow tires lot. And you know what? We might have to do... Oh gosh, sorry. A little bit of cleanup after. Sometimes they're really not the best at driving this thing around the goofy field. So, we'll see what we can do. Alright, we're hopping in the Cummins because it's been a while. And we just need to go pick up some feed, minerals basically. So, it's just a little quick trip. We're not really doing too much with the truck. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to get some water done, but uh, I'm sure this truck could do the job if we really needed it to. I suppose we are bringing out the big tractor, so that's always an option as well. Yeah, it looks like... Are they spraying? It, it's so hard to tell from certain angles. I, looks like... Yeah, I think they are. They certainly struggle busting a little bit. We just gotta make sure we stay on the bridge. We'll see you there. Alright, we'll just have a quick peek what they got. Oh. This can... Does it, what is this? Stack bales? Also a forge way... This is all stuff we want, guys. Oh my gosh. Um, a manure spreader? I mean, we, we don't really need a manure spreader. But... And I think we can get away without using this. But it's definitely... Would be something of interest. Because I think, what, you just drive through them? Stacks them up? three bales high, uh, and we can go pick them up with a telehandler a lot easier, because that's pretty much what we do with our first round, is go and stack them all up. But we'll see. I mean, we don't have the biggest grass field, so I think we can get away. But, I mean, keep in mind that's close to $40,000 brand new. Um, this seems like a steal, though, because I was considering getting something like this in the future. It can have silage additive tanks as well. Uh, man. This is something to consider, for sure. If we can get some contracts done today, that might be something we could get. It's almost 60% off as well. Uh, this is 280 horsepower. Is this, is this the biggest one? We, let's check if this is the biggest one real quick. Yeah, this is the middle one, which uh, is tempting. I think that's the one we need. But at the same time, I don't think we even really need it. We, we don't really use our front loader attachment all that much on our tractors. So I think we could maybe hold off without it. But uh, I guess we should buy some mineral feed. That's what we came here for, Randy. I keep saying mineral feed. It is mineral feed. Oh my gosh. Big brain. Oh, $1,000 each. That's rough. Because I kind of wanted to buy eight of them, but I think if they're a thousand bucks a pop, we might just have to buy just the four for now. And uh, we'll get the shop to unload them. We'll open up the back on the truck, and uh, we'll get back to the firm. Alright, well, we got it loaded up. It's a pretty wobbly load. Looks like this contractor is switched on over to building that house. I mean, it was taking a while. So maybe they can get the job done. Who knows? I, it would be cool to see something there. I don't know what they're building. Alright, this has been a wobbly ride over here for sure. Oh my, I don't think we would have been able to handle eight pallets on here. I mean, that's a lot to put on just the truck. Uh, we should be able to get these just dropped off in here. 
real quick, and I believe our friend is about as done as they're going to be with that field. So we can go finish up. But is that all you're going to take? Uh, is it... Really? Okay, well, you know what? You can just hang out here. And we're going to go get some stuff done. It'll take stuff as needed. Obviously, we'll get it unloaded at some point. But uh, that'll do for now. All right. They did about the same thing as last time, where they just kind of did all the squares in the middle and left the outside. So I think in the future, if uh, we just started off and did kind of the headland, just a big opening stretch, and then set them off, we would be probably fine, because it does have a pretty big width. So I think I think they would manage. Hopefully we can get all of it. If, if there's a little miss spot here or there, not the end of the world. We've got majority of it done. And uh, yes, our crop's growing a little bit bigger. It's looking less and less weedy. Hopefully, well, when it's at its full height, we won't be able to see them at all. But uh, yeah, they are a little bit of an eyesore, I, I will admit. All right, we missed that tree barely, but we did it. I think there's a couple more patches just down below. We'll get that done, and then we can switch back over to herbicide and get rid of some more weeds. Alright, that should be that as far as spraying goes. Fertilizer, that is. We'll bring this back. We'll switch back over to our herbicide. I'm not sure if we have that much left, but I think we should have enough to get this field done. We'll probably, again, just let the farmhand loose. Shouldn't take them too long. Or maybe we send them off stone picking. That's probably the better idea. And we can go do herbicide around a few different places in the valley here, make some money. They can slave away stone picking because that's a boring job. Um... I mean, it's not that it's boring, it's just, it's tedious, you know what I'm saying? And we gotta use our fun new tractor doing this. Alright, let's go back over to our Herbie. Where are you at? Alright, we got the Funkasaur thrown down here on, what is it, the 4960. Um, so he can do that. It's actually looking at it a bigger than I thought it was. You know, if, if I'm just looking at it from like, it, like a bucket size, it's not huge. But you got to remember, it's just kind of letting all the soil fall through and it's just picking up the stones. I'm not sure how long they'll be able to get done with stuff like this. So, you know what? Maybe we'll just give it a little bit of a, a trial shot. Oh my god, does this not reach the ground? What's going on there? That's funky. Oh my god. Is it not going to be able to, Is this tractor way too massive? Because it was laying flat on, I guess, the back looks lower. But it was laying flat on the smaller tractor, our new one. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no, Mickey. What are we going to do? Well, that kind of ruins that plan. Huh. No way that's our only tractor that can do this. What happens if we throw this on the back? I feel like that's not ideal at all. But hey, throw that B in reverse and get it done, okay? Let's see what happens. I mean, I know we can throw it on, but like... And we won't be going forward. Alright, that's definitely touching the ground now. Oh, is this... Is this fun or what, having no idea what we're doing? Ha, I was totally just joking there. I knew what we were doing. Totally. Yeah, I, I knew what we were doing. Wow, this is... This is, uh, going real quick. Not gonna lie. Whoa. Yeah, um, there was a small chance we, again, we just didn't read the user's manual. Kind of like when we were planting our trees. You know, they, sometimes we just get things and we just absolutely toss it away. We don't even ask for it. And we're like, yeah, we know what we're doing. No way we're going to tell the salesman we don't know what we're doing. That's that's insane. Who does that? But, uh, yeah, you just deal with the embarrassment by yourself in your own home. 
after, and you're like, why did this take so long? The video I watched showed me it would take literally two minutes. How did this take me four hours? setup just looks so nice. I love these big yellow tires and then they're like super tiny thin. This tractor does actually look really nice. It's probably my favorite one so far and I do really like the twin wheels but these narrow ones, I don't know, there's just something about them and obviously they got the narrows on the sprayer too to match. But our other tractor is an absolute beast, you know, like I said we just started collecting rocks and it's like hey this is fun why is this fun i don't know but it is so yeah i don't know that's farming for you though it's work but it's enjoyable work and you love it you gotta love it otherwise it's like what are you doing so we'll turn this guy on we'll send that guy off and we'll try not to get in his way there you go buddy all right absolute path of destruction all right our friend is rolling and we'll get back to it as well. Like that, we are stone free. Not even two full loads, so that's actually pretty good. This bucket is a huge size, huge capacity. Love to see it. Just like that floating bale, it's amazing. All right, we'll get this second load just placed kind of near the first one here. Something like this should be fine. Looks like our friend, of course, is done, so that's awesome. I'm not sure if we have lime uh, in the mixer right now. I'm not sure what's in there. And also, I'm not sure where to put this guy. I suppose it could just kind of hang out here. It's almost like a bucket. There you go. I suppose I could have lowered it down. But that'll do. Okay. There's our front loader sitting there. I suppose we could sell that one. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what to do with the front loader at the moment. We'll go check this out. I know we do have a fair bit of lime. Should be enough to get what we need to done. Looks like it's completely empty at the moment. All good there. We'll drop this guy off here and we'll go grab that roller real quick. Ooh, it looks like this guy might actually be able to back up into here, which would be amazing. For some reason, I thought it was going to be way too tall, but we're good. Always oversteering. All right. That one was pretty low. I feel like it went pretty quickly. We'll get the rest put in here, and we're good to go. All right. It's a little over 2,000 liters, which not sure if that's going to be enough, but we will soon find out. Can we squeeze through right here is the question. Oh yeah, no problem. Plenty of room, Randy. What are you even worried about, son? Uh, we'll back this one up, and instead of trying to squeeze through that gap, which I'm sure we could, we're just going to back it up, and we'll go this way. Wow, this thing is omega heavy. You can tell it was just struggling at first to get going there. I know the wheels were turned, but still, not an easy task. 
Looks like we haven't gone through much more mineral feed either. Maybe it's just having trouble because it's on the truck. I don't know. And yeah, our field, horribly messy. Uh, but uh, hey, we got it done relatively quick for stone picking. So I will take that. And the rolling, hopefully it's not too, too bad. That was not bad at all, only took a few minutes, so we're good. And the field is looking very much better. Very much better, Randy. Very much better. But yeah, it is, so despite the poor English, it's looking good. Got to get some lime on there, should be very easy to see where we have and have not been now. This roller is amazing, little whistle in my voice there. And, uh, yeah, it's done us pretty well. I mean, I'm happy with it. It is costing us money, so we're making good use of it, of course. And I think we did kind of maybe forget to roll a second time over our canola. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's too late now. I wouldn't want to wouldn't want to do that now. That, that just seems wrong. But that's all right. We'll scoop up our lime here, see how far it gets us. And, uh, you know what? Maybe we'll just send our friend off to go do that. And they can probably plant for us, too. I don't see why not. We can go start doing some other work with the herbicide in our neighbor's fields. So that'd be really useful and probably just a better use of our time overall. And I think why, while we are here, we're just going to hook up to the water trailer and get a little bit more dumped off. It looks like their trough is starting to run a little bit low. And it might be worth it to just even refill this guy because I know these guys are absolute hogs lately. And, uh, well, they've been going through a lot of water. A lot of water, a lot of food. And this, of course, does double as a milk tanker. We have two dairy cows. Eventually, slowly but surely, we'll have enough that seems worth it to take it all the way and make a big sale. I don't even know how much we're going to get for milk. So, we'll find out. They're all topped off, and it's definitely easier towing this guy with this tractor compared to when we did it with our brand new one. It was uh, it was not that great. Granted, it we hadn't even upgraded the engine on that one yet. Now we have. So, it is also a little bit of a beast, which is great. We'll try and get this guy placed back kind of nicely. I don't know. That should do. And we'll pop this line back on. We'll let our farm hand loose and we'll go pick up our other track. What is it? Why why is the only number part of it that I remember the 69? Is it 6930? Or is maybe this is a 4960. Gosh, that's like only a difference of one number. That seems a little bit ridiculous. Alright, well, probably gonna be hugging the edges here. But that's all right. We'll send our friend off. Oh, hey, yeah, totally. Bosch won't notice this last little patch we didn't do. Oh, it's just totally right there, but he won't see. Yeah, no worries, bud. Yeah, okay. We'll get that finished, I guess. At least he is parked right here. I can't even do it narrower just because of how we're parked. It, we need the kind of long end there. Oh, my gosh, and we're hitting a tree. We're good. Okay, that's fine. I uh, think he got majority. Looks like, yeah, the rest of the field should be all good. We'll get this folded, and we're going to go head over to our neighboring field number four. We have done some work there before, and it's a nice square field, so that should be pretty good. 
shouldn't take us too long. This thing has a fair size width. I'm not sure how far the capacity is going to get us. We had 4,000 liters in there, which is awesome. But yeah, I'm not sure how far it's going to last, especially if we have three fields to do. Not that we'll be doing that regularly, but it would be cool to have some extra tankers or something like that externally. And uh, hey, I think we did want to actually feed these guys. We are getting more chickens pretty much like every day, which is awesome. So we're just going to have a boom one day of eggs, I feel like, once they all kind of come of age. So we'll get this backed up. And I suppose we could have left the top on there. And we'll just make sure they have enough food. They, they clearly have some left over at the moment, but it doesn't hurt to just give them a little bit more. Perfect. That works. We'll get that closed back up. And we'll hop, we'll hop back on the sprayer. Alright, this is the field in question. I believe it's about 17 acres. And I think... Uh, I don't even know what way is best to start. Maybe this is another one of those. It's best to go along the whole outside and then hit up the middle section. I'm not sure. But we'll get it done. We probably will have to stop pretty shortly after and just get our farmhands switched over to planting our grass, which is awesome that that'll get done but uh, yeah they're definitely going to be finished liming before we're finished spraying so thankfully we can kind of try and do our best to stay in an aisleway here and not run over any of the crop so that is awesome Right, so I believe our farmhand is all finished liming. So we're just going to run back over real quick, leave the tractor here, and then we will get finished up. I don't know. I, I think they'll do decently well with this field. It is a fair size, but it's for the most part, it's, it's rectangle square-like. So that's pretty good. And yeah, I think we should be good. My wife. Oh, that's not my wife. Okay, never mind. Sorry. All right. Thanks for planting our grass. Do we roll it after, or do we need a grass roller? I don't know. I feel like we can get away with a regular roller for now. Does it matter? I don't know. So many questions. And we're back. Where did we leave off? I guess right here is not a bad spot continue on. Yeah, I guess we did the whole outside headland kind of area. Gave ourselves plenty of space to be able to turn around because that's useful. This thing is massive and it's not tall enough to fit over the fence on the other side. So we should be good now. Just have to kind of get the middle inside done. Shouldn't take us too long hopefully. This does have a fairly large width. I don't remember what it is. But if I had to wager, I'd want to say 20 meters plus. This is the next contestant. So, we're kind of already set up to go this direction. So we may as well just keep doing that.
But we did get the farmhand to just pick us up, bring us back. They were all finished going home for the night and actually just driving by the road when uh, we started walking over there. So that works. They dropped us off back in the yard. And, uh, well, it looks like this thing is absolutely covered in lime. It looks good, but probably would be smart to just give it a quick rinse off. That way it's not kind of building up and hardening and some of those hard to get places that it really shouldn't be. Yeah, definitely some paint wear, but that's okay. You know what? It's looking used. Definitely noticeable. But it's it's a working vehicle. What do you expect? We're just gonna get this guy pulled in here. It's done an awesome job today as well. I'm quite impressed with all the tractors that we do have. They're all quite capable, you know, even our small one, it does a lot of really good, useful work. Oh, run away from you, loud garage door. Yeah, it does a lot of really good, useful work on the farm. Alright, so... Yeah, Field 8 is our smallest there. Old Dick Miller. And uh, so Field 4, we'll collect that. And Field 7, another 8,600, we'll collect that. So awesome. We'll go back to Richard's Field in the morning, get it finished up. We'll go pick up some herbicide on the way down there with the truck and probably bring the farmhand. One of them can drive it back or something like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe we'll just load it all back on the trailer after. Hey, big brains. I feel like this is for a wheel loader. Oh, man. Yeah, we're getting tired. It's been a long day. Yawns are going around. Chocolate palette. Oh, we could buy some chocolate on sale? Wait. Seriously? Buy chocolate on sale? And then... And then sell it? Not on sale? How much does chocolate go for? Let's just quickly hop over. Breads, cakes, butters, chocolates. Oh my gosh. When is it best? Uh, looks like January. Peaks April, May. Oh my gosh. Right now. That's a great price. Um, do we just make a quick four grand? Oh my gosh. Oh, I think... I feel like we should do that. I feel like we should do that real quick. We've got emergency money to make. Oh my god, no. Oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god. And we're still trucking, so... Not to worry. Chocolate palette? 4400 Yeah. I'm gonna buy that. Oh, that's looking good. Chocolate delights. Yeah, we'll get one strap on there. And they don't even know where we're going. Where, where's the best place? There's only one place. The local market. Which I believe is right behind the little mountain lodge right there. So we're gonna just pull in here. All right, right here, this is where you take your goods. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And is this, I wonder, how much is on a pallet? Is it just a thousand liters on a pallet? There was 2,000 liters on the pallet. We made 16,000. What the heckin' Bob? That's amazing. That's almost enough for that auto stacker. Holy smokes. Wow. We gotta get into the chocolate game. Hey, milk. What else do you need to make chocolate? Just milk? I feel like you probably need sugar. Well, now it's probably much later than 6. What's it say? 6.45. Yeah, I mean, hey. That was a good little round trip. We made a lot of money. Well, we cleared like 12,000 just from doing that? That was totally worth it. It feels like our day just got like, you know, we made even more money, obviously, but it just feels like it just got even better. It was that easy. I wish it always was that easy. But that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for joining me. 
We'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to wipe your boots. Bye-bye.